Hey guys, it's Luke, and I'm here to talk to you about retro gaming using emulators, either on your uh, Android phone or Android tablet. So one of the great things I've found, and the reason I've switched from uh, emulating on a jailbroken iDevice, is that uh, it was just getting uh, too tedious with all the upgrades that Apple was doing to keep up with the jailbreak. And jailbreak does introduce uh, instabilities to the device. And uh, I just decided that uh, with all the gaming I'm doing on uh, my emulators, it was better for me to just move to uh, an Android device. One of the things you're going to find that make your gaming life easier is uh, to use a gamepad. And uh, you can get that going with an Android device, and you can even do it wirelessly. You do need uh, two things. One is you need this cable. It's called an OTG cable, stands for On The Go. And basically what you have is that at one end you have a micro USB port, I know it's kind of blurry and hard to see, uh, that plugs into the charging port of your, I dev or your uh, Android device. And then you also need one of these guys, a wireless uh, gamepad. On the back of the OTG cable, the on-the-go cable, you just have a standard USB port. And what you do just you take the uh, receiver device from your gamepad and you plug it into the back of your OTG device and you'll get this guy and then it's just connecting it directly to your uh, Android device and I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna start the screen recording from the Android device so you can get an idea of how that looks because the video quality is gonna be much better there alright I'll see you in a bit all right, guys, now we are on my uh, Google Nexus 9, made by HTC. Um, it's a pretty affordable Android tablet. It's got a great form factor, pretty decent screen, and runs a pretty, pretty fast processor. Another one that you may want to try would be the NVIDIA Shield tablet, but there's been a recall on it, and there could be a, a new version coming out any day now. So for me, it's the uh, Google Nexus 9. I've plugged the on-the-go cable with the uh, wireless gamepad receiver into my Nexus 9. Uh, but before I start demonstrating what, what that looks like with emulating games, I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorite emulators for uh, retro gaming. So I have here SNES 9X EX Plus. You can find this one on the uh, Google Play Store. It's free to use and it's uh, very compatible with uh, almost all the ROMs you're going to have. It works with Wii remotes, uh, Bluetooth gamepad, as well as this kind of cheapy 2.4 gigahertz uh, uh, gamepad that I got. I'm going to post a screenshot uh, of this gamepad that I got from Amazon for like 19 bucks. You can take a look at it because a lot of them are, are a lot more than that and you certainly don't need anything that expensive. Anyways, I love this SNES 9X EX Plus for uh, the Android devices because it just works really great. There's a ton of options on it and it supports a lot of games. For Nintendo 64, the emulator of choice for me is uh, Mega N64. It's also very compatible with almost all the games you're going to try. It supports gamepad devices and has a lot of options like save states and other things like that uh, for you to play with. And then finally for PSP emulating there's uh, no better choice than PPSSPP. This emulator exists on uh, the PC as well and it's the uh, preeminent uh, PSP emulator. Uh, runs really well, has a ton of customizability and just uh, is a joy to play. There is a free version which will uh, play some ads uh, when you're done with your game uh, or you can pay for the pro version for five bucks 495 and get rid of the ads the ads in no way interfere with uh, gaming it usually comes up after you've played a game um, if you find it annoying you can certainly pay for it but uh, the free version is not uh, crippled in any way at all okay so while i'm in the PPSSPP emulator. Let me go ahead and show you um, 
what the interface looks like for game pads. So you would go into your settings and you can change all of your graphics, audio, uh, other settings in here. But the important one is the controls setting. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you disable the on-screen touch control, this guy right here. And most of the emulators will have uh, something similar. By default, they will uh, probably have that turned on and you'll want to turn that off because you don't want that overlay to get in the way of your gaming. Next thing you want to do is go into control mapping and basically touch each control and map it or bind it to uh, the key of your choice on the gamepad. Once you're done, you're ready to go. So let me get back to one of my games. I just uh, started up this Final Fantasy 3 for PSP and I have a save state that's at the very beginning of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load that save state and play a little bit with the gamepad just to give you an idea of how the gamepad works and how the emulator itself works. This is the very beginning of this game. It looks great. It runs very smooth. And here we go with the uh, combat. basically it. I'm going to go ahead and save this state so I can continue it later. Uh, let me go ahead and exit out of here and show you some of the other games that I got. So for example, this is one of the ads I, I told you about. Sometimes you get video ads that you can skip uh, after uh, you know five seconds or something. But this is one of the things you do have to put up with with the free version of PPSSPP. Uh, I don't find it very annoying at all because like I said, it does not pop up when you're playing. It comes up at the end and it's only then sometimes. Okay. Let's go into the Nintendo 64 one just to show you what that's like. I use Mega N64 and I have a couple of games uh, that I can pick from. Uh, I don't have a ton on my, my Nexus 9, but uh, why don't we go ahead and start with Mario Kart 64. Play. I've already configure the gamepad for this emulator so I just jump right in and, and play. idea. So clearly I got to remember my own game mapping but you can see that it runs great and uh, works really well. Graphics looks looks pretty awesome and you'll realize that I, I have the PSP emulator running in the background and that Nintendo 64 emulator still ran just fine. Just to give you a flavor of how the uh, 
Super Nintendo emulator looks. Let me run a couple games really quick for you here. I'm just going to load uh, something simple like Gradius 3. So you can see that uh, I'm a little bit rusty on this game, but uh, it gives you a good feeling of how the emulator runs and how the gamepad works with it. Anyways, I hope you uh, find this useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments for me. All right, I'll see you later.